You can call on me. You can call on me. You can you can call on me. You can call on me. You can call on me. Oh yeah, it's beat high. Oh yeah, it's beat high. You can call on me. Yo, what's going on, man? Another episode of the Big Homie South. Got some homies in the building. Big Homie JoJo. Big Homie Sonny. First oh, time. Yo, first time. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. You know? Okay, cool. Well, this all started off with just, you know, me ranting on social media, but we're going to talk about that. <laughs> we still going to talk, talk about that. We still going to talk about that. Definitely. But to kick things off on the porch, the porch, I got I to gotta talk about this Drake album that's oh, yeah. generating so much discussion. Jojo, have you finished it? Of course. Of course Sonny, have you finished it? I've listened to a few. I got some personal things going on with that album, so. Oh. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, and, uh, <laughs> well, I'll fuck with Drake. Well, well, about the, not just the album, but I feel like the discourse around it, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people just found out that they're old. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? A lot of people that don't like the album don't like the album because it has a lot of younger elements to it. Like, yeah. you got people like Tizo Touchdown on it, you got Sexy Red Feature on it, Yachty on it, and it has, they say that he's not catering to his older fan base. But I think that translates to, y'all want to hear him talk, rap about some old nigga shit. Yeah. I don't think that it has anything to do with him want to rap about some old nigga shit. Um, I just think that times have changed and you know when you make music you got to make music for what's appealing to what's going to sell Definitely. and if that's what's going to sell then do that that's your job to do that to sell albums and if you're a Drake fan a true Drake fan he could put out the most trash album in the world and it's still going to be the best album to you mm -hmm. and that's just facts like it is. I'm not saying that this album is trash. I love Drake. Nothing. No, nah, the album's not trash. The album's not trash. Yeah. No, that's a good album. I listen to like bits and pieces, and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? That's exactly <laughs> the top of my life. <laughs> it's so four hundred plus thousand like in the first week. Well, I haven't even heard anybody say like what you're saying. I haven't even heard that. So. Joe Button went, went on his podcast last week and made what? a lot you're of statements. You're talking about Joe Button. Exactly. <laughs> Joe Button is a premier oh, voice. Not, oh, we not, can't, we can't, yeah, on, we can't yeah. Yeah. say Joe Button and treat no, him like Joe Button the no, rapper. No, Joe Button the rapper and Joe Button the podcast are two different people. He's still a very people. inspirational guy no. and he definitely, like Drake has used his flow, you know what I mean? What and, and is, beginning Drake music. When so. I say we saying Joe Budden, I'm saying that because like he be trolling. Nah, Joe Budden. We really, all troll a little. Joe, nah, yeah, Joe Budden, I think he gave his real sincere yeah, thoughts I, on the album. I, 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 like, I'm a Gemini, so I understand both sides. I understand people be like, oh, I mean, he's too young, do, 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 do. And I also understand, you know, his point, you know, the point of view where he is selling records. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's selling a idea and a theme. A, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if we gonna really break it down just deeper than actually records. But, you know, everybody entitled to their opinion. But. Well, let's just ask this question. If you are an artist, how many demographics are there out there? Just think about all, the dem all of the demographics. That are out there. You want to hit them all. Okay, but do you know how many you you trying to That's tell hard. me with what how many songs he had? Twenty three. How many songs he had on there? With all of these songs, you're telling me that he's supposed to hit every single demographic. Well, I don't like super long albums anyway. First. Yeah, I'll buy that. yeah, I would I'm, love a super long album I hate super from Drake. Long I don't give a damn. I want to hear nothing but Drake. Drake, even Drake I love Drake, Chris Drake, Brown, Drake, but Drake. even when he dropped that long ass album, I ain't gonna cap it now. Yeah, I listened to a few. I let this shit my homies worked on. Which one views? What, nah, I'm talking about uh, Chris Brown when he dropped that long ass oh, album. Oh, the one that just right. came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chris Brown, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so it's just like... and But personally, I don't really listen to a lot of music. Because I, I do music. I don't really like to get too influenced by mm -hmm. stuff. I watch a lot of TV. I'm a TV, a podcaster person. I, okay. I listen to music when it's needed, right. in my opinion. Like, I feel that because that's mm -hmm. like a... Since you in, into the music, it's more like... That's work. Yeah, you know what so I mean? So you be trying to get a break I get from a break it. and I watch TV. But that's why a lot of my music be like based off TV shows and okay. stuff like that. So, yeah. But yeah. I love Drake, man. He was one of my favorite rappers. Well, so nah, Drake, Drake is definitely yeah. the at the top of my list because I like Kanye, too. But Kanye ain't dropped nothing recently. Yeah, so. Kanye, yeah. Wayne, Drake, Jeezy. Mm -hmm. and, and Drake, if you think about all the names you just named, Drake got a longer run than all of them. All of them. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know about Wayne. We ain't nah, talking. Uh, but Wayne? I, Wayne? Kanye, Kanye too. Nah. I don't Run. know Wayne. We, we talking about runs. Kanye runs. Man, Wayne, y'all is the everybody is Wayne's. Look at me. Everybody is Wayne's children. No, no, no I'm no, not. You're not. That. You're we not wrong. That. I'm talking about their, their at their peak. Yeah, because sometimes people they'll they'll like for instance Wayne will like introduce somebody and then he if he if Drake 
what she did. He took off. Yeah. Right? For a long ass time. And he's still going. Yeah. You know? But we're trying to say, like, did is did Wayne's uh journey his run see wayne this goes was, that long and it, it did but at, at one point wayne did lose his core fans too when they start doing the auto tune and all that yeah, stuff like i listen to exactly i listen to wayne when wayne was bar 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 when i start like fading away from wayne a little bit when when the hell was it when he started, well, he started doing, doing after, you know, after car three yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean so it, and then but drake has he, he that's when Wayne was like kind of do the auto tune when things was shifting, so he shifted with it. I don't think his shift was as good as Drake's Car- shift. Drake Carter- has much his shift. That's because he they- goes in every Carter I, 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 Four and I, I, Carter I, I, Five did not hit as hard as Carter Three, me? so I so, can't consider Carter Four and Carter Five a part of Wayne's run. You feel me? Every feel song you. and album Drake drops. Yeah, and I'm and I hate to th- I hate that this yet. guy's about to catch a mm-hmm. stray, but I feel like Drake can make make a hit with anybody. He can. Mm-hmm. Smiley was not a good rapper. And that song charted. Mm, yeah. Over the top charted. He hasn't flopped yet. You're right. But you stay in this shit long enough. Is this going to be the album that, that Drake flops with? If it is, oh, the fuck well. You think Drake really gives this a This album fuck? didn't Drake flop. Exactly. Flopping. It didn't flop. So it's just like, they like you know how they... You know how they, like most artists, you know you you see a lot of the runs that Cardi been going on. It's like everybody want a second album. A lot of artists kind of scared to flop because usually your second album, the flop album. Chris Brown had a flop album. Every you in the game long enough, you gonna have a flop album. Drake has not had a flop album. It seemed like they trying to market this one as it. They trying to push. They, they trying, trying to, to create push that, that narrative, narrative that this is a flop album. But no, it's not. Man, please, Drake is tied with Drake Michael t- Jackson with what, yeah. number one hits on Billboard. What is it? Number one, most number ones with 13. Yeah. He what? tied them. Yeah. Man, come on, bro. He knows he's great. But also, I feel like <laughs> if we're looking at just the trend of rap, right? Because a lot of people say, oh, uh, Drake need to be acting like Jay-Z was at 36. Well, at 36, Drake, Jay-Z dropped Kingdom Come. Mm. And that wasn't a great album. No, like, see, in- everybody got that album that everybody be like, nah, that ain't the one. And it's just like, you know, I'm just talking strictly music, nothing with people's personal music. Exactly. This is strictly musical opinion. Strictly music. Just like R. Kelly, though. He was able to withstand all the changes. This thing was out since, like, the late 80s to Uh the 90s to the 2000s. You know what I mean? Because he was able to shift strictly music, nothing personal. Because if it was personal, I wouldn't bring the nigga up. Yeah. But you know what I mean? But just you have to be able to shift with the times in order to create that longevity. But they don't want want Drake to make. Old nigga music and niggas is not listening to they, old niggas. My music. thing just is, listen is to the old shit that he first dropped. of all, who cares what y'all want? Like I don't give a damn. Like <laughs> it's don't a nobody care minority. about that. Like, Those don't. niggas that want the hip hop shit also want free tickets to the nigga show. They text them for free tickets, right, but they exactly. don't support the music that exactly. they say they want to hear. Like, exactly, they don't support. I'm do do not stream like Drake. Listen, nah, exa- I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't personally like music today. Isn't music how it was? Back in the day, like our type of music that we that we love, Drake yeah. or whoever artist that you that you like or that you look up to or whatever, and just like your our parents, we the music is not the same to them either. Our music yeah. wasn't the same to them. Music changes. Yes. That's what happens. So you can't expect for you to to want to hear something that you heard ten years ago to hear today. Times are fucking changing. If you want to listen to that music, be that old nigga or that old female in that house listening into that old ass music when you clean in the house point blank period you're gonna have to go back to the past you're gonna have to go back to some old music yeah. if you want those old music vibes i do it all the time i don't i rarely listen to new music yeah all my music is older music like my yes. time music that i grew you up feel to me? like it's just yeah. too much the music the, the actual artists. the actual yeah. verbiage they use is they want his music to be more mature mature they yeah. that's what they said they want to be more mature okay, but y'all don't well, listen to that and how are you oh, gonna make more how are you gonna make Different music when your music is based on the type of life th- lifestyle that you currently live in. How you gonna tell this grown ass man how to make his music and how you know how he how he living his life? Like he living a whole nother life. He than still you. living shit. like that. He yeah. living some shit that you ain't never ever 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 gonna experience. That you ain't never even gonna understand his experience. So when he rapping about it and talking about it, you ain't never gonna get it anyway. So you need to find somebody else that you're gonna relate to. So get you some fucking blue face, turn that shit on, and tune in. The fuck? No, exactly. For real. Yeah, yeah. It's Drake, like I said, I've been listening to Drake since that nigga, like before comeback season. My first time I heard Drake was like his record called Share. 
years ago. I was in high mm-hmm. school when the nigga was still playing on Degrassi. I'm like, y'all niggas need to listen to him. Nigga was like, nah, ain't nobody listening to that nigga. So it's That's just like, it was with my, me too. you feel me? My mm-hmm. love for Drake really runs deep. He's the reason I rap the way I rap in a lot of ways. But you have to be able to shift with the culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's still, he's still bar heavy. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and also, a yeah, lot of very heavy. A lot of older rappers do try to shift with the culture. It's not like Drake is, is wrong for doing it. Yes. He just does it successfully. He, exactly. Like I said, even and then people Lil get Wayne mad. didn't make that shift successfully. Because you he thought he had saying? to. Because But now we're seeing Wayne and this new shit. He's, he's realizing his shit. he's back he's doing back what Wayne his does. Motherfucking when you are the cu- when you are the culture, you, you get to do whatever to sh- you get. Yes. You get to do whatever you he's want. The, That's yes. why Drake is doing all this stuff, but he's still doing Drake. There, yes. Drake is not. Drake is his own category. Exactly. It really Drake is. is his own category. This nigga got a fucking um. What's the genre? Like he done dropped the whole album where he's spitting like a London rap. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He exactly. knows. He's a songwriter. He's, yeah, he's versus everywhere. a rapper, I feel That's like. A, you yeah. know what I mean? When you're a songwriter, you got to shift and mold into different shapes to make a fucking record. Mm-hmm. So do you think, like, there's too much stock put into artists that use writers? I think just everybody's in everybody's business because writers never... It's not a new thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's something that's been around forever. And I personally, as a writer and an artist, I remember before I started writing, I'm like, oh, niggas, that got writers, not rappers for real. But it's like when you are creating music for the masses, for the people, why not involve the people? And you know what I mean? And, that, and when you go to a studio session, there's about 10 niggas in there. You hear what I'm saying? Like, it very seldom is it an artist just in there with the engineer. And like, in that lead, he, you know what I mean? He'll be in there by himself, but he still got writers as well. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody now, a lot of niggas is not writing, won't let you write their verses. But as far as a hook idea, Hell yeah, because you want the hook is what's gonna hook people in. Yeah. So, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Shit, you need a writer. Holler at me. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's nothing wrong with having a writer. Like, I think people care. Like, people care too damn much. Too much. And what you not understanding is, is like, um, before I before I say that, I will definitely feel some type of way if I found out that most of Drake's bars came from somebody else. We found that out already, and he's still number one. I don't know. I think what matters is the finished product. Yeah. The finished product matters. Uh, so if people aren't included in on that, then it's really, that it don't matter. I yeah. just, I, I really, now I'm really thinking about it. Like, I really will feel some, I, okay, he tied with I Michael respect, Jackson. I respect it, but I will feel some type of way because I'm like, I, okay, I get how people feel because it's like, now, I'm rocking with you because of some of the things that you're saying and it's making sense to me in my life. And I'm fucking with you for that. But you're not even saying that. So, like, you're not even real. You're not even true. You're like, fucking, no, you're you're fucking with, the, you're fucking with the, paint, the painting that's being painted. I don't yeah. look at a painting and wonder, hmm, if one, did one person really paint I all this? I wonder who made that stroke on the right, because yeah, that's like, a stroke who put, that I relate who, to. Yeah, who, no, it's when who niggas was the inspiration be, behind this? I don't give a fuck. This shit look good. No, we that's all different. In, Someone's yeah. talking. Someone's talking to you. They're singing to you. I see what you're that, saying. That's like a therapy. That's like if somebody come up. That's just like if um like someone comes up and they're an advocate for something and yeah. they're like, Yeah, um, we don't eat meat, yeah. And everyone's like, Yeah, we don't eat meat, we love you, we don't eat meat. And then you find out that this person is smashing on some ribs. Yo. You will feel some but kind no, of way. So you can't even relate it to that because when no? you are in the studio with the artist, you are having a conversation before y'all even get into the music oh, making okay. point. So it's it's like literally a therapy session in there. You oh, yeah, you know, we ain't that. in there just like So it's not like here, I'm gonna write these lyrics and this this is what you're gonna say. You know, and it's like, like this yeah. is what I'm going through. This exactly. is my life. So the, it's like on some AI type shit. Exa- you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. It's like writers okay. is like AI, honestly. It's no, like yeah, yeah. You feed us what you need, what you've been going through, what you want to talk about, what's new, what okay. it is, what it okay. ain't type shit. <clears throat> and they do what to do. And like I said, there's many cases where like, yeah, writers will send the A and R's, the hooks, I you know, hook ideas, top lines and mm-hmm. shit like that. But the artists, they be like, all right, cool, I got the verse. And even if you write a whole song for an artist, they're gonna switch that shit up. They ain't right. gonna like do it work. Some people will do it work. Like most, mostly singers. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? But a lot of people end up switching it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, that, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. It's I, just like a cookbook. You see a recipe, you gonna you you follow it, but you still gonna add your little. You gonna be like, this shit don't say add, add no onion powder, but you know black like, people what we enough, add. That ain't enough onion, seasoning. You know what I mean? Little onion powder, right. garlic powder. One little, tablespoon ah. of pat. Now we need two <laughs> tablespoons. Okay, I get it. Yeah, let let writers and and rappers coexist. And I yeah, feel like that shit honestly. really just be tearing the industry apart in unneeded ways. Because the only per, the only person really 
upset about that shit be fans who That's you it. wasn't supposed to be in this shit. You no ain't way. supposed to know that anyway. Because if you look at the credits, like just and niggas wrote Michael Jackson song, but then that take away from his legacy and what he does. Exactly. Right. But then you have artists like Michael Jackson, artists like Chris Brown, artists like yeah. Drake that will write for other people. Exactly. Exactly. So <laughs> is it if it's a if it's a subtraction because he had writers, is it an addition because he write for other people? Exactly. He's wrote. You know, my favorite shit, Drake zero to a hundred. That was, they say that was originally, I think, for Diddy or something like that. But that, that beat or whatever. But yo, zero to 100. Don't act like this nigga ain't got bars. Like, after a while, now I realized when you're an artist and you moving and shaking, like, I've been moving and shaking for the last month. I ain't been to the studio not once. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? It's just like that. I want to create, but it's like, I'm just moving and shaking. Yeah. At this point, shit, I'm like, nigga, send me a hook idea. You know what I mean? So I can go from there. But yeah, I, I, I advocate for multiple people in the studio when you create music. It's fun. You know what I mean? I want, I want everyone's opinion. Like, mm -hmm. what you think? How you feel about this? Like, oh, I like that, but I would probably switch this bar to that. But all right, bet. Because music is a, uh, it's subjective, but it's also a collaborative thing. So, yeah. For sure, for sure. So I got a spooky question. You know, we we getting close to Halloween. I actually got two. <laughs> I actually got two, but we're gonna go, I'm going to spin the block on one we asked like a few years ago. What would you rather have, roaches or ghosts? Roaches. I grew up with them motherfucker. What happened? You want... I'd rather have roaches than a uh, yes than the I mean, ghost. Uh, let me let me let me put a. Right. Uh, uh, I can uh, exterminate, uh, I can them exterminate the hoe. I gotta go get a priest. You to feel do me? All and then the roach goes. Non-violent ghosts. Let me put that caveat. Oh. Non-violent ghosts. I'm saying, like, who want to be around ghosts? Like, like I, I've, I've what if it's a friendly ghost? No, I've experienced. What if it's him. Casper? <laughs> yeah, Casper. <laughs> I've experienced supernatural shit before. Definitely, that shit ain't cool. And I experienced roaches before too. That yeah. shit ain't cool either. Fuck both of them, really. Honestly, all the time. I'm, I'm. Thinking, I ain't gonna bro. lie, them, them roaches though. They be, they some savages. I Man, probably would listen. have to go for this ghost. Let me, I'm gonna me take and a ghost roach. Gonna have to, me and the ghost gonna have to come up with a with a like, like a, a an agreement like you, or something. Like you haunting you haunting on the on the weekdays and you leave me alone on the weekend. Leave me alone. You, you know can't I tell got, that to no roach. Nah, yeah. <laughs> right. you know I got nah, the roach go, roach. The roach gonna pull up at the most inopportune moment. Nah, yeah, no, for real. You, got, you, you, bring, you bring a bitch over. Hey, what's up? Nigga? I was just about to say what that. What we doing? That'd be nah. the, you, you and and every black person got their roach eyes. You know, sometimes you just see something crawling, be like, what the fuck? And yeah. it's is, not a roach. Yeah, roach, and roaches and roaches are hard. PTSD. Yes. Yeah, roaches are hard to get rid of, and then you get like scared. Yeah. Now, you, now you traumatize. Man, and shit, I like, still take a roach over a ghost. Roach PTSD is real. You ever been chilling, or you feel you feel something? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, so like. I'm feeling like that nigga from Friday, uh, Chris Tucker. Ooh, yeah, the, no, I, uh -uh, I'm going to have to say, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't experience. I didn't. I didn't experience some roaches to the to the. I seen some shit. Yeah, is it infested? No, or I just like a roach that was like a roach family. Yeah, like, like yeah. Not, now I don't want to say infested because okay. infested is bad. I, I take. I take. Shit, bro. I that's take a violent horse. ghost over yes. roach infestation. Yeah, that's yes. what I said. I was about to say like infestation. Give me that ghost. Give me the goddamn yeah, ghost. Give me the spirit. I got insane. We got spirits following us anyway. But shit. Oh fuck. Dead ass. You but shit me? in um shit in Atlanta, everybody got them damn. I was just about to say that. Like I, said, yeah. I grew up with Roger. Everybody got shit. that shit. The motherfucker not, must not be in Buckhead. Yeah. <laughs> the motherfuckers hey, there. They there too. They they my, they my, but I, because I grew up with them, I do everything not to have them. Not to have them. No, I did that. Yeah. She be like, I, I, I do I everything know. not to have them. Yeah. No, like, have y'all ever seen like? Have y'all ever seen a roach in the fridge? Hell. Yo, that is the a roach in the Bro, fridge. They'll be dead in the fridge. They be like a roach in the fridge. No, I seen one that was alive. A roach in the fridge and a roach in your car is two signs you a dirty motherfucker. No, I was just talking to yeah. my dad today. This nigga was like, "Man, I got this bitch car. She got roaches in the car, Sonny." And I done been with a bitch out one time. I was with the woman. I'm sorry, not the car. You know, but one time, like I was at my mama's house. She we had roaches. Like I said, I grew up with a motherfucker. She spent the night. Motherfucking roach fell on shawty. We were asleep. Wait, somebody. It fell on her. The roach fell on Fell somebody. from the sky onto her face. I was like, damn. Party's she, over. She was up. She still fucked. Yeah, I think she was. See, I think I woke up. She like woke up like in a panic. And shit, but they separate the real bitches from from the ones that they're that gonna fuck with. Like, you. It, it, if 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 somebody <laughs> come over and it's a roach at your crib, do you really judge them for leaving? Uh, I think one girl ain't let me hit because it was roach. But it's like, girl, this is my mama. This ain't even me. This we in my room. I try to keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I try to keep it clean. If she had left, if she had left, would you have judged her? Nah, I don't give a fuck. Uh, if you win something, you lose some. If a nigga come on your crib, you got roaches. You judge him for leaving? 
Hell no, nah. I wouldn't even invite a nigga over I, to my exa- house. I, I really you hear me. I was young. This is the only place I could fuck. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, hey man, we gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? But once I got older, yeah, we, we going young, to the hotel. We young, you figuring it it's out? It's certain mm-hmm. shit you don't need to do. Though, now, you get. Like I ain't yes. fucking in no car no more. I got a, yeah, I got a nah, whole apartment. Too big. I got, yeah, I got I a whole car, apartment now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers still be trying. Hey, we can do it. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. In the car. Yeah, the, I done fucked in the car last year. Yes, it's a great time. Hell no. Uh uh. We was too big for it. That's why. Damn. Your big ass gonna get stuck. I did it last, like when I got a little bigger, and I was like, "Yo, this is a little different, baby. I don't think I can throw that strap on you like I used." <laughs> <laughs> I was in that. I don't trip. got. I don't got no room for the I strokes. Was sweating. What time of year? What time of year was it? What? What year was yeah, the car? What, what, yeah. What's no? What time? What time of year? Like this season? This was shit around this time last year. Oh, so mm-hmm. the, the windows was fogged up oh and shit. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, we had to get out that motherfucker. And people's it's coming. It's nothing. In. I love some good car sex. <laughs> yes. Hell no, I'm too old. I'm little as fuck. Yeah, well, I'm probably not. I'm still little. Yeah. You better yeah. not be having no car sex right now. No, that hell no. That that very very uncomfortable. <laughs> exactly. This Me was, and my girl. This was actually hotel sex. See what I'm saying? Hotel car sex. Hotel is leaving in. Yeah. This was definitely hotel. Well, he always left it in, but this was hotel. This was hotel sex, though. Me and my sure. girl was chilling at the crib, and she was like, let's go drive around and fuck. I'm like, okay, go. Mm-hmm. Let's fucking go. You feel me? She's like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I love her. Shout out. Oh, but, yeah, I love car oh, sex. You, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, my- I'm so little. I can actually, like, me and my man, I literally would sit on him while he drives. I seen that meme, and it was like, why haven't I risked my life like this yet? I can't do that one because I'm just a little bit too big. But. Well, he's big, but I'm small. I'm yeah. so I'm super small. Small so. girls want to like, fuck. I like, yeah, yeah, I like I like <laughs> thick women, so that's <laughs> not gonna work for me. We both we <laughs> we, we let's know. go come on this branch. Yeah, like I don't know. We let's both two hundred plus, baby. baby yeah, I'm three hundred plus. <laughs> she two hundred plus. It's not gonna work. It's <laughs> not sitting in my. Baby, we gonna need a goddamn. You goddamn. gonna fuck up my transmission in this motherfucker? <laughs> we gonna be scraping all types of highway. Hell no. Nah. Me and another me and a thick. Hell no. Oh my god. Nah. Nah. Hell no. So. No, Mm-mm. but my ghost question was actually two part. Cause uh, what if you found out your crib was being haunted by like somebody you knew, like somebody you was close to? Would you get like, would you? What's the word? I'm like, would you exercise that or would you let them rock? Are they haunting me and they're dead? Oh, yeah, they yeah. mad at me and I know them. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. They mad? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, is it an op? No, it's somebody you know, like somebody like you my love. dog. Yeah. I'm saying like if I'm if you if I'm getting an exorcist or somebody to come like I'm trying to put your ass to rest. That's like, what like, I'm saying. If like, it's my you dog, let, like, yeah. if you go to hell. Like if you for go me, to hell, like for me, like if me, it was, that's you. If it was my granny, like my granny came and like was just there. I'll rock with that. I feel like it's shit. They in here right now already. You know I, mean? I hope not. <laughs> I hope. My, I hope. Grandma I hope, like, baby, I'm here for you. I hope. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. So if it was somebody you love, would you? Exercise that person. Man, I let them rock. Yeah, man. if it's someone I love and they love me, I'm gonna let them rock. I'm yeah. gonna say no. Like that's some real trauma ass shit. Like you gotta let that shit go. You gotta let these people go. Like let that spirit go. They still always gonna be there. But for them to just be there and you allowing it, I think that that's like some mental shit you got going mm-hmm. on. Shit, might be, boy, because death is a motherfucker. I still like can't comprehend that. Like damn, motherfucker gone forever. No, for yeah, real. I, I be wondering, like, you know what I mean? Like, especially lately. Lately, that shit been really heavy on my mind. It's just a lot that's been going on. Everybody needs to just stay prayerful, yeah. like for sure. Because it's like, damn, like people, time is, time is. I don't know if people is re- realizing, but time is going by fast. People dying fun. today that they never yeah. died before. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. That's yeah. Yeah. Death is crazy. I think, so you, I think so about you that exercising your uh your family ghost? Yeah, for sure. Cause like She said uh, Granny you? gotta get the fuck. Yeah, for no, I know <laughs> granny, 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 like, after all the five dollars I slipped she you She called like, Ghostbusters on Granny. <laughs> yeah, like Granny, I'm trying to get you where you gotta go. Like I don't know why you why you ended up stopping here, but you need to go be yeah. at peace. Yeah, yeah, cause I mean like we all are spirits having a human experience experience you feel what i'm saying so yeah. it's like do i want to be trapped on this motherfucker when i'm gone hell no take no. Me to the upper room that's why people like when they be on their deathbed they be like i'm tired yes like they yeah. don't be like i'm tired so they could still be stuck in this motherfucker yeah. flying around and shit yeah, no true. <laughs> i'm trying to rest for eternal eternal life now we're entering big homie conspiracy era because i don't <laughs> i don't i don't because I, I, I my mind can't even comprehend like what happened when you die you just black out and like and i don't right it was some nigga that went viral. He was saying, like, death was, just, was the most peaceful thing. He died and then came back, and then we came back, he was mad. Because, like, damn, I got to deal with this realm again? Like, fuck this shit. Too yeah, like, where, like, shit. Where does, like, where does your consciousness go? I can't imagine, like, consciousness just stop. Like, yeah, I, that's my thing with death. Like, what 
happens. Well, that's where, you know, that's when your spirituality comes into play. But even as know? adults, we got to have a serious conversation because, like, hell, okay, what is hell? Is hell physical? Because you, you feel pain because is, is, of physical things. Do you really want to know what hell is? I don't want to know. I want to know what heaven is. I, I don't, don't even know. think neither exists at this point. I don't want to know what heaven is. I mean, not having hell. I don't want to know what I don't hell is. What the hell going on? <laughs> they, okay. say this, they say this is hell. So it's it like, might be ass. because Feel the Falcons so ain't like, winning shit. And yeah. that might be. That, I really I really do think sometimes I do be in hell because yeah. my favorite f- football team ain't never going to win shit. I ain't never going to win shit, ever. Imagine liking something so much. <laughs> And it ain't never gonna like <laughs> never gonna happen. You know, you know, I just had this conversation. I just had this conversation. It feel like hell. Listen, I told my I told my dude, I said, you know what, bro? Like, nah, I'm good. I'm good on the Cowboys, bro. Like, I'm just gonna have to find a different team, bro. I'm I'm done. Like, I'm done. He like You said that this year? Yeah. He Y'all said, be having faith though. He said exactly. Cowboy fans. He was yeah. like, Bro, if you giving up on the Cowboys, that mean I ain't got no chance. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you damn right, because if anything make me stop fucking with the Cowboys, like it's up with everybody. Everybody getting cut off. I can't cut them motherfuckers off to save my fucking life. Damn. They ain't winning shit, but they got to win something. I conceived in Dallas. Like, it's just only right that we do, that we going to have a winning season. So, yeah, because. Yeah. Gotta, so you got a little Cowboy baby. Mm-hmm. Make sure you get them some Falcons gear. <laughs> no, for real. Absolutely, no. I'm absolutely. Burn that shit. Anywho, <laughs> Sunny the motherfucking rapper. Yeah, I was handy. Nah, you got mad at me because uh, I was talking about uh, motherfuckers need to pay. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on. Let me start this camera so we. Can, hold on. Uh, so yeah, I said motherfuckers need to motherfuckers pay. Motherfuckers need to pay. Pay for uh, what? Artists for media. Motherfuckers need to pay. If we got the big homie's house. Mm-hmm. And I said, if it don't make sense, then you got to pay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand if it don't make sense. Uh-huh. I, I think I, I didn't see that part. Uh-huh. I don't think I see if it don't what, make what sense. What was your response to what I initially said, though? I was saying, what what did I say? I be saying so much shit. No, okay. Well, the, basically, <laughs> the idea was that I said, if somebody reaches out, yeah, and, and we don't got no relationship, you got to pay. Ex- okay, all right, cool. My and my thing was, I was like, I felt like Atlanta was like one of the main places trying to charge niggas for fucking press, and I'm like, y'all, not, Atlanta not even the biggest motherfucking. Press hub, yeah, you know we mean? not. That's why we charge it. Shit, <laughs> every, every, every every big media platform in Atlanta came up because they was just popping. Like, yeah, it's not like we got, we don't got no double XL, we don't got no complex, we don't got no like any major I mean, media thing. We we, we, some, we, we don't got, some, got it. but there's there's some shit out here. Yeah, I like guess, who? Um, Revolt. They just got out here. Like, I'm yeah. just saying, but last that's, year, that's one Revolt's out here. That's okay. So Pandora. that's Pandora. See, my thing was get the money from them or get the money from ads or get the money from we brand partnerships. We get it from both of them. Yeah, this, you this feel is me? This my, my, my take on that. It's just kind of like, what's the... If if you're an artist and you're asking me to use my platform mm-hmm. to, for exposure... That I built up by myself. We got to put that in there. For exposure. The thing is, is at some point, it's going to get to a point to where it's like, like I fuck with... Artists, I fuck with in, indie artists, but I'm not finna just keep fucking with all these indie artists because at, yeah. at some point, you water shit down your tiring, shit. No, yes, that okay. You, you, it gets tiring. You start watering down your own, um, your own brand. Now people start thinking that they can bring any and everybody to you yeah. with, with at any given moment. And, and I think that's like the that. that's the worst feeling too, to, yeah. to for people that to feel like and as, as inclusive you, as we have been, it do feel like damn. Like for instance. Anybody can come on this motherfucker? Like, for instance, there are some people that we fuck with, like record label reps or uh, just people in the industry that we fuck with, you know? And they have artists to come in. Now, they'll have an artist. I don't know who the fuck this artist is. Yeah. But you want you want us to put them on our platform. Okay, cool, because, you know, we fuck with you. That's, that's no issue, no problem. Then you do it again. Okay, cool, no problem. Then you do it again. Okay, cool, no problem. Now you got a big-ass artist come in. Like, I don't want to say no artist because then somebody may think that I'm being like specific, but like I said, 
what like just just any like big ass artist future for example then you got future and you don't bring him here yeah yeah okay but I then you bring saying. everybody else yeah. so it's kind of like nigga what the fuck so who the fuck is we like exactly so now nigga fuck you and fuck all of them because i'm doing this at it off gp for you because i don't even know these people yeah, yeah so i'm really learning these people as i'm interviewing them but i'm doing it for you mm-hmm. so like after what like so i'm wasting i'm there's so much other shit that i could be doing yeah like, we do so much shit as like uh content creators and and influencers and yeah. personalities we got so much shit that we got to do so much shit. and also to her point i get you'll it. do all that and the person don't even promote or support it Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the person that you did it, the person that you did it with, like the person, <laughs> um, like the artist, whoever yeah. the artist is. So you put them on your platform. Yeah, they won't even put it on their damn shit. That's crazy. They'll put it. They'll put it on their story. Like, oh, yeah, at the radio yeah, station, yeah. won't tag, won't do no shit like uh, that. Like, listen, bro, let me explain something to you. I don't even know you. I don't want to do this shit, and you're not finna just be having us out here looking crazy. So now at this point, like. I kind of feel what you're saying. Like, yeah, it's some people that you do fuck with, big, yeah. small businesses or people with nonprofit organizations yeah. or even some non, I mean, or even some indie artists. That's cool every so often. But after a while, you, I can't see a person getting upset that they, tra- and now they're starting to charge because they have a service. Yeah. Because people see it as a service and then they start using it and using it and using it and ringing you out. Yeah. Dry. Yeah. Because it's like, why not? Because I, I can. Why not? Yeah. Niggas ain't going to try to. It's like that everybody want us to be the ones that's like, okay, yeah, let's, 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 let's. Okay. So why can't the person on the opposite side be like, well, you know what? I see what you're doing for me or whatever. And I fuck with the platform. This is and this. Like, let me throw you some. No, niggas is going to take advantage of that shit every chance they get. Yeah, niggas will take advantage. And that comes a part of being in Atlanta because we do have some of the most accessible shit here. Yes. It, we yes. do have, like, you, it ain't another city. Like, you can't go to L.A. and just walk up on T.I. Right. Nah, yeah, you can't. In Atlanta, you can catch a nigga on Peace Street. You hear me? Real quick. And he'll have a conversation with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. that that's what I that's what I was saying when I when I when I. So yeah, I, I see what I see what you're saying when you break it down. You feel what I'm saying I definitely see where you're coming from, and I feel like you know it also opens up that conversation that was like going viral. It was like what they say it's the difference between aspiring artists, independent artists, and signed artists. Like some aspiring artists feel like they're independent, but independent like I'm independent. You feel what I'm saying like I invest and I get shit back into it, and I'm like. Shit, I'm fucking moving and shaking. I'm not inspiring. I don't just got one song and I'm like, this is the song. I'm constantly putting music out. You feel me? So I feel what y'all saying. It's just like so many people. And then you showed me the DMs personally. And it's not a professional, like, hi, an introduction. This is what I'm doing. This is what I got going on. See, me, I'm thinking everybody coming how I'm coming. Hell no. Nah, niggas is so, in, not. Feel so entitled. And yeah. that'd, be the, that'd be the shit. I was just telling him the other day. I'm like, bro, I hate when a motherfucker come to you and ask you for help. Yeah. And then when you be willing to help them, they like, all right, well, uh, I'm going to charge you to help you. Yeah. Or I feel entitled to, like, be on your show type shit. Yeah. Like, where do y'all put get me on, this Put money? me on the show. Put me on the AB, show. bro, I got a goddamn single in the street fucking with it. God damn, you know what I'm saying? And, even, fuck and, with and me. even now. like, And, and, with and that, it don't even be that. Like, yeah. that verbiage be cool. That That's not even... It don't even be that. Like, cool, like... Motherfucker come up, come up to us like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with me. I got da, 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 da. You know, bet. That's what's up. It be the motherfuckers that be on some like, nigga, why the fuck I'm not on there? You should have been put me on there type of thing. Like, yeah. y'all wild. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Who are, yeah. like, <laughs> Who are these niggas? Like, Who are these niggas? Who are these niggas? Like, bro, you yeah. have no idea. That's, it, it that's what I'm so saying. So you have crazy ass people that feel like that they need to. We still yeah. on the come up. So we yeah. still like, it's even, I'm, you probably seen my story on Instagram. I was like, do, do not DM me for shit. Talk yeah. to Tiana. Yeah. Because I don't want to have them conversations <laughs> with niggas because everybody feels like, and there is no such thing. Like you said, it's inspiring, independent, and, and you said, what's the third? Sign. Sign. Ma- yeah, the yeah. mainstream. In Atlanta, independent and aspiring be the same yeah, shit. Yeah, they be like, you know what I mean? Because niggas ain't, niggas work harder, not smarter. So I feel what y'all saying. I, I know y'all get hella DMs about stupid yeah, ass shit. And my thing like, is, and, just and, 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 and we artists do. do not take criticism on how, on their music no. or yeah. approach. Wait, no. no. You a hater. You a hater. You a hater. Like, with the shit that happened at the Gucci Man shit yesterday. What? 
the nigga just started rapping for Gucci at at the at the, at the, was that the signing at the, at the thing for his new album. I'm like, and I'm in the Gucci. comments on the, on the, on the, on Instagram saying like, this is a way to do it, and y'all think this is shooting your shot. It's not. No, this is not gonna work for anybody in 2023. Yeah, you going up to somebody just rapping. You don't. People don't get. We already dealing with shit that we have to do. Already, we just real people. We, we already dealing yeah. with shit, so you want us to take on your shit as well. And when we don't want to take on extra shit, now we're the bad guy mm-hmm. because we already have a hundred things that we have to deal with, but we won't take on a hundred and one. Yeah, damn, fuck me. Yeah, it's just the, it's just it, it really is just like how people just expect like, oh, you yeah. supposed to, oh, you supposed to. Like don't get it, don't get us wrong. Yes, we do fuck with people. We, we do. We fuck with people. Like we, we fuck do. with who fuck I with can us tell though. Shit, and we I'm fuck with who fuck with us. I know y'all fuck with folk. Yeah. And then, like PR is something that is paid for. You know what I'm saying? Press is something that is paid for. Like uh, shit, sign artists. They get budgets. They get the yes. marketing budget. They got their press budget. They got their video budget. The music. The studio budget. You know what I'm saying? Well, so uh, so I understand completely where y'all coming from. And it's mm-hmm. just like a lot of people think they there when they really not they there. They not there. So they they'll hit you up like I don't hit people up until I know it's time for me to hit them up on that shit. I mm-hmm. would never, like, a couple years ago, I would never hit y'all up because it's like, I ain't finna have no nigga laugh at my face. I got pride, too. I'm very prideful. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I ain't gonna come, you, I you come Leo? correct. Now, I'm a Gemini. A Gemini. But I, I got a lot of Leo in my chart. My rising is a Leo. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, I'm I'm always gonna come correct every time. But a lot of people, they don't give a fuck. Like you say, it's a lot of entitlement. And I used to have that entitlement as well because, like, man, I'm supposed to be doing do, 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 do. I done piped up on a couple folk. But that, I did... You know what I mean? When I piped up, it was a reason. Like, yeah, I did deserve to be there. Like, I piped up on A3C on Twitter a couple, one time. Yeah. And then they would DM me, we reached out to you. You ain't reached back. I'm like, y'all hit up an old email. Just as quick as you sending this DM, you could have sent the DM. Other. Yeah. You know I mean, that's why A3C was a thing. Yeah. And then, no, and now it's not as instant. Yeah. Nah, you, well, you right. <laughs> you right. I, I personally. And we feel the same way. Yeah. I personally feel, I don't know about A3C. I don't know. I, I'm not coming. But we're not talking about A3C. We're talking about just in general. Oh, in yeah. general, yeah. Um, I what was I saying? She was saying how she had she felt slept on by by. Oh okay, I feel like if if someone is sleeping on you, then let them sleep on you. Don't get angry about it. Like yeah. don't like if you're if you're in if you're indie artist and you hit me up in my DMs and I never responded to you or you emailed me and I never responded to you and you feel like I slept on you, then leave it at that. Like and then use me in your story when you get older. Oh, to be I honest, I probably did. If I know? didn't respond, and I didn't see the value. It is like okay, that's fine. But you got and I'm gonna take the L and you gonna take like yeah. Well, Whenever you when, when you, you blow up, fuck yeah, me then. then. Yeah, I, like it is what it is. I don't I don't intentionally do things on purpose, but yeah. at the same time, I I am getting to a point to where me personally, I'm getting to a point to where I'm starting to realize like oh shit. I am somebody. Yeah. Like, I am yes. somebody that people want to sit down and talk to. Definitely. I am someone that people need to sit down yeah. and talk to just because of the industry that that I'm in. And so um, I'm also starting to notice that people, there are some people that are starting to, you know, respect that. And I'm starting to look at it like you got you can't just you can't let people water down your brand that's just what it is you just cannot allow them to do that you know what you got going on you can't help every indie artist you could try as much as you can Mm -hmm. and it's never going to be enough i had somebody uh contact me and um they wanted to do a uh music review they wanted me to like review their music Mm -hmm. uh they wanted me to do it on zoom because they're not in atlanta and they wanted to use that zoom on their personal oh, hell no. page, yeah. like their con- their Instagram, their Facebook, their yeah. website, and shit like that. Like they want me to do that, but the thing is, is when he came at me with it, he came at me with it and was like, "How much would that be?" Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I'm like, "Yeah, because who finna be doing that? Yeah, like, who finna be reviewing music? Who finna be on Zoom talking to you for like 20, 30 minutes? Like." I told her to for charge. For your own, yeah. For your own, because you do shit. gotta I'm not pay. Yeah. On my shit. you oh, do yeah. gotta pay your dues too. So I totally, yeah. You have to pay your dues. Like, I don't pay like a lot of bread. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I, but that's but I am. But what I'm, I am. Saying, I'm saying that to say that man when he contacted me knew, like 
I had a worth yes. that he was willing he knew your to value. pay. Yes. yes, he was willing to pay. Yeah, to to basically have some type of clout. Yes. on his page. Yes, mm-hmm. and so I'm saying that to say that he realized that. So why the fuck you can't realize that? Yeah, you know, Absolutely. you're you're using me. You're purposely like contacting me because you need my platform. Yeah. You're, you you need to use my platform. So why can't you, you know, respect like, hey, you gonna have to pay me for that. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Some people do got to pay. You feel what I'm saying? Definitely. I, I, yeah. I told, I get it. You feel what I'm saying? That, that, that's, all I I, that's all I was I saying. I get it. Now, me, I'm one of the one. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but, it, makes, I mean, I'm but it makes sense. It, 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 like you said, when it makes sense, Yes, when it makes sense, it'll eventually make dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but if it don't make sense, you are gonna have to come about them dollars. It gotta be. And that's it, just what it, it gotta is. be something. It's you gotta like, pay them dues, because baby. I know because you already telling me what you want. Because you trying to jump I, the gun anyway. You're not even really ready to be on my platform. If, so but, it's like, baby, you gonna have to. Fight. But when they come up with, oh, I got this project coming out. I'm trying to promote. Oh, you trying to promote? Oh, you got a promotion budget. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Nah, I just wanted to come kick. Nah, buddy. You already said the you word. Already, you already told me what you're trying to do. <laughs> and I feel bad. I do feel bad sometimes for people. Like I can't. Yeah. I can't personally help everybody. Yeah. Like I just can't. I can't repost everybody's shit. Yeah. You have to understand. Like I'm a business. He's a business. We're influencers. We get paid to post on our social media. You know, we get paid to sit down and talk to some people. Like, we get paid to pull up. Yeah. Just not even to get on a microphone. We get paid to pull up. Yeah. Just to be in the building. Yeah. So, you just got to respect that. It took that. a lot it to get here, too. Yeah, a, yeah, I already know it. Go back to our, our previous, like, we got hella people that's on there, like, indie artists or people that's working on certain shit, people that we fuck with, you know. We... If we if you fucking with us, we are fucking with you a thousand percent. Yeah. Like hands down. If you've been rocking with us, we rocking with you. We not gonna stop rocking. Like, and that really the Atlanta way. That way everybody loving them. Like the community in Atlanta. Cause if we fucking with you, we mm-hmm. fucking with you. We right. rocking with you. Mm-hmm. And I was just in New York at United Masters, uh Select Conshaw United Masters. Um, but it was, you know, it was like a lot of panels and stuff, and it was a couple artists and then shit. And I, I was up there because um, you know, I'm with United Masters and I, I did a partnership with Gotham FC, the women's yeah. soccer team up there and shit. And it was a lot of artists in there. So I was like, damn. And you know, I was up there all oh, day. I'm like, damn, I need some weed, but so I seen a young nigga in the back rolling up. So I'm like, I went up back there, you know, started chopping it up when <laughs> so they, you know, end up being like some independent art well aspiring artist type shit yeah. and they was just like man you know we had the panels man ain't nobody really saying that so I feel them cause I done been that artist in the panel ain't you nobody saying sides. that yeah. you know what I'm saying it's just like don't quit don't give up don't stop and that is honestly the key to success don't stop don't quit you really gotta keep pushing through consistency is the key so I was just like you know what I'm going to fuck with these young niggas. You know what I mean? They they need that. And they seen Cooler Hair. They gave me a little weed, too. So I was like, all right, cool. I was like, man, I said, bro, pull up your Instagram. Hey. You feel me? So they You got to pay or you got to pay? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I would go pay for the weed. But then once I chopped it up and really gave him game, he was like, bro, you straight. I ain't even got it. I was like, all right, man. Yeah. I was like, man, let me see your Instagram real quick. So I looked at it. And I said, see, I wouldn't even take this shit serious. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, why is this picture here? Why this picture there? This shit don't look like, you know what I mean? You don't look it like don't you got look motion. Like you and got that, no motion. And it be most people and that I be know, like that. I that already it know it. I already know it. Hi, I would like to be in radio. And um, can you help me? Go to One Instagram. picture. You black, feel me? Black no, photo. You feel me? Not and even it's that. Like, booty hole wide open. Like, yeah, like it hold, don't hold look on, like. Man. I was like, bro, this your resume. And I will not hire you for none of the job that you I'm going to give booty hole brown a chance yeah. now. <laughs> Kodak, you want to use your platform to pull holes, then you do that. Hey, you hit me. Look, for real. But nah, you just, and I, I really gave them game, and I know they needed that, but I know they would have been the type. Man, we got, we selling our show. All my niggas pulling to the show, we lit. They fucking with it, but it's like, what else? You know what I'm saying? Like, where the growth? Like, why your page look like that? I was like, why you got to, he had a picture sitting on the couch. I was like, why it look like you at your grandma's house taking a picture? Like, this is your artist page, bro. You have to take, look at it like that. You can't, you look at future shit or look at little baby shit, how they page lay out. This is their resume. You know oh, yeah, no, nah, but then everybody want to compare themselves to future and little baby too. Well, yeah. future don't post this stuff, you but can't future say what is fu- established. Exactly. exactly. But you still got to got that. I, I, and I gave them game on, you know, like, you need to Now, whether they take it. Oh, yeah, they definitely. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's on you, but. 
But yeah. I hate when I see, when I hate seeing rappers compare themselves to like somebody established. Well, Beyonce yeah. don't post Drake. Don't. Beyonce's Beyonce. Drake Come on is Drake. Now. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's true. That's you need you to. Should. This is who like you need to be comparing yourselves to guys who are who who came up in this social media era. Yeah, like people compare that yourself to them, but your layout on your profile, your Instagram should look like you popping. It's easy to make yourself look like you popping on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You need a professional photo shoot. You know what I mean? You need a couple videos, not too many. But yeah, but don't, just because your page look like Beyonce, still carry yourself like that nigga across from you, though. Don't be like, well, my page look like Beyonce. I need to move. Like, nah, you still got to play is, the game. Is people nowadays, they Lazy. see shit happen. Exactly. That's exactly what I was about to say. Lazy. They see, happen so, they see yeah. shit happen so fast. They think that their life can happen like that. Yeah. Motherfuckers are lazy as fuck. Fuck. They don't want to like, work. It took do 20 years anything. to be an overnight success. They don't want to do shit. They feel like if they just... Pop, and, and crazy thing is, it can happen like that. You can wake That's up like one morning... That's like a one morning, in a one but, billion... But listen, though. It can happen. And we're not going to say that it can't because it can. We didn't seen people go viral. You don't even know that damn uh damn lady with that, that go, gorilla glue lady. Come Where's on she now. at now? What the fuck you mean? She making money. I ain't is she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she capitalized off that I'm shit. I'm sure she did, but yeah, I just yeah. I ain't tapped in no more. She had made her own. She had yeah. came up with her own product, some shit. Her own up, glue. Yeah, like <laughs> then ended up selling out type shit. Like we're not gonna say that that's that that can't happen. It's just people on the outside looking in when they look at these successful people when they try to compare themselves to them all yeah. the time. It be because that they just see it. They don't. Yeah. They don't. They see what they allow you to see. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Like you, you see me and Kodak, and you see us sitting down interviewing with, with uh, such and such, or hosting the One Music Fest, or hosting the um, Car DJ MV Car Show. You, you, you see us doing that, but you don't know what the fuck it took to for get us there. to get here. No, for real. Yeah. Now, together and individually. Yes. Like, yes. I have my own shit going exactly. on here. He got his own shit going on here. Exactly. You don't. We and we don't show. It. We don't show you that because we don't have to. Because yeah. that ain't the point. You know what I'm saying? And these people now, they think that they could just come in here and just just do shit and don't have to put in the work. And then that's where they get frustrated. That's where they get entitled because yeah. they're like, well, how the fuck they can do it and I can't? Well, nigga, that's because they ass been actually putting in the work that you yeah. don't even fucking know about. They know so many people, so many connects. Come on. So, man, I, could, I know I've been here, what, three years? And I've been in the industry for a year. Well, here in Atlanta, I've been in the music industry for four years, radio mm. industry. But just being in Atlanta... I know so many people, and so many yeah. people know me just yeah. by me being networking, talking to people, like letting them know like what I'm on, what I'm trying to do. I never came to Atlanta on some bullshit. Ever. I never, I never moved to Atlanta well, on some like I'm on some bullshit. The yeah. biggest part Fuck of that no. is, you know, we come from like in the '90s and the early 2000s. People say like, "Oh, you got you got fake it till you make it." Well, people really don't care about making it no yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah, people just care about faking it. Nah, they care they about put, looking like it, especially look, yeah. in Atlanta. Let me tell that faking you. until you make it thing. I look, it's stupid. I, it's crazy because I look at it totally different. Me, when someone told me to fake it till you make it, I never looked at it as ever in my life looked at it as, oh, let me fake that I got these bags or these yeah. cars or this nice house and I'm happy and it's like that. That's not the faking that I that I thought they was talking about. The faking it till you making it for me was fake it like. You want to be in this room with these people because um, there are people in here that you need to know, yeah. or you need, or you having a bad day. I never looked at it like that. And you don't want people to to, and you having a bad day, and you don't want people to know you having a bad day. So you are gonna fake like you having a That's good day. That's how I always looked at I it. I never too. looked at it like yeah, that. Yeah, I never looked at it like the like you say the bags. I never really my. That's Atlanta's fake it till you make it. Till you make yeah, it. my fake it till you make it was the that. attitude exactly. But like what I tell myself in my head, mm -hmm. like bitch, I'm already there type Exa shit. So because yeah, exactly. It's probably people that's watching. This right now, like we was talking about this last week, I'm by bought fake followers, they got Bro. fake likes, Man. they trying to cast this impression that they are the person that they believe that they think they are in their head when that's not reality. It's not, and we can tell, like, because we do this shit for a living, we can look at your Instagram and tell your mm. following is fake. You have yes, you have two hundred thousand followers, but Bro. your reels are only getting forty views. Come yeah. on now, and and the thing is, is like we see it, we notice it, and things like that. Your your fans are gonna be your fans. Like yeah. it is it is what it is. It's gonna be what it is gonna be. So for you to make it seem like that you have more like a like more following than you do, like okay, that's fine if that's what you want it to look like. 
But that shit ain't gonna change. You yeah. still gonna have the same amount of people looking at your shit. Come on. You still gonna have the same amount of people fucking with you. Yeah. That shit ain't doing nothing. And that shit ain't doing shit. I, I agree. And I feel like you really playing with my intelligence at that point because you really thought I was gonna believe this shit. You trying me at this you, point. You you are trying you yeah, really trying man. me. Like you thought that I was gonna go for this. Think I'm a peon. You thought I was it's gonna crazy. see this and be like, oh wow, they popping. They got two hundred thousand followers. Yeah, nah, like that that check, that blue check don't impress me. No, I, when, 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 I don't got no blue check. When Mark me put either. the when Mark put that blue check shit out, yeah. I ain't wanting no more. I then, didn't, I, you feel me? I'm straight on the it. The value of the blue check went it's down. down. I know niggas that have paid for it. And I know I niggas that people, fake it till you, they do that fake it till you make it shit. And that fake it till you make it shit makes no one wants to fuck with you because they don't know what's real. Yeah. They don't know how they can help because all everything is so fucking fake. How can I help you when you presenting everything like it's great, but in the real you begging for somebody to ask for you, you know, like, please, someone, please fuck with me. But then on the internet, it's like, I got this shit, this shit, hey, this shit running. We don't need nobody. I don't see it's it work, us, though. it's only us. Nah, my boy. Not, I don't think that should be working. I don't see it only, a stunting only stunts your growth. I don't see it work, though. Like, I ain't this seen girl's it work. company, her business, um, she, she, had a, she had a decent following. But this is how she did it. She had a company, and uh, it was like a clothing, a clothing line or whatever. She does really good. She did really good shit. And um, she went and bought her check, and she let everybody know that she bought her check because her she wants everybody when they order from her boutique, she wants them to know that she legit. Like she's verified. I'm not a scam. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't want to work with her because they, they think, think she's scamming. So she's like, yeah. I'm not scamming. This is an actual business. Yeah. So it's her business page. So she went and got bought her check for her for her business page. Then she started making clothes. She started working with Lotto was the first person she worked with. She worked with Lotto. Um, Lotto just randomly hit her. She sent her some stuff. And then after that, she bought her followers mm -hmm. and capitalized off that shit. And that shit ended up working. But I, now she got like sexy red and uh, as a boutique, I don't think your followers matter. Like they do because you because you can find yes, some like. The, the clothes don't even be expensive. I don't get it. I, it's not my girls' clothes don't be expensive. Like I, even when I chose this lifestyle, my my dad was like, "You show? <laughs> it's expensive being a nigga." That's oh, so very, funny. Very, very no, yeah, because it's, it's very it's, it's very cheap. Uh, you can definitely find some inexpensive clothes for women for sure. But I feel like that's sure. different. Like you, but, if you're a bi if you're a business, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like but in, in that you, aspect, like yeah. I, I I can understand, but you also have to understand that we're a business. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're buying followers and, you know, that blue check is because, and I'll be honest with you, I even thought about um, a lot of people that's on my team had told me to consider buying the blue check. Like, yeah, same yeah, here. I hear that same here. you need same to here. because you're verified. But yeah. and the honest, uh, honest reason, because everything that they said made perfect sense. Yeah. Honest to God, reason why I didn't is because I have to put my real name. I in was my just bio. about to say that when you buy it, I'm not doing that. You have to have your real name. Yeah, no, right there. That's my, real name, my real name is whack. So my no. real well, name I don't is even sunny. want people's weird. So yeah. I don't have time for people trying to look me up, see if I had a fucking his like a fucking uh jail yeah. history. They gonna see my mug yeah. and shit. Or you know what I'm saying, like seeing what my damn transcript was yeah. in high school. Yeah. Shit, like. I just don't want y'all doing don't that want shit. My real name plastered on my Instagram. Yeah, and I also feel like Instagram, Instagram and Twitter is definitely different. Because yeah. Twitter, I feel like, is super watered down. Because yeah. the people that's lit on Twitter don't even have that shit. Yeah, but then they say, like, can you only get paid on Twitter when you have the yeah, verified? But, but so the checks I ain't. That. But the checks they giving out really ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, I stopped monetizing. I stopped monetizing my post on my Instagram because, one, uh, they started. Yeah, they holding back. It. No, yeah. they started like uh, shadow banning me. I guess like giving mm -hmm. me limited access to views. Like, which is super at fucking the end weird. of the day, they're a business as well. Yeah, and I'm I know not. people that work at like you know the tri trailers, the TikTok, and then once they see that you are a customer, they're not gonna put your shit in front of the people that they used to because it's like, oh, she's paying now. Yeah, let's I'm, keep continue to get some bread out of her. Not doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm that's not, why I really just don't like paying for the. the I would rather mm. my views be authentic, and yes. I get I get twenty thousand. 30,000 views and yeah. not get paid rather than getting 2,000 views and getting $50 from you. You feel me? Yeah. I'm not doing that yeah. because at the end of the day, I'm trying to build my brand. Yes. Eventually, the money is going to come on its own. Every I don't time. even have to get it through y'all, really. And, and don't. And most of the money don't even come through Instagram anyway. If you're going to get most of your money, it's going to come from Facebook. Hey, yeah. yeah. That's Seriously. where you're going to get the money. Yeah. Take well. your ass to Facebook and take your ass to YouTube. And for real. Well, shit. We got to get up on out of here. I appreciate Big Homie Sonny for pulling hey, up man, on us. Nah, I appreciate it.
Appreciate y'all. Give me your Instagram everybody. so they can follow you. Keep in touch with everything yo, you got yo, going it's on. Yo, it's Sunny MF, man. You can follow me at S-U-N-I-D-I-M-F on all social media platforms. You know what I mean? With the big homies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big homie JoJo. Big homie Sunny. And we gone.